One of Ecliff's core tenets is the belief that a set of core non-negotiable values mm -hmm. underpin all aspects of effective leadership. Some people would say trust is a value, but I get a sense that you're maybe using it a little bit different. How would you align the idea of a set of a leader set of core values with the notion of trust? Yeah. Well, I think that they are aligned in many ways. One is this, that, that when you are clear about your values mm -hmm. and then you live true to those values, mm -hmm. so you're aligned, right. you do what you say that you value, you walk the talk, that builds a self-trust, a personal credibility, but, but a self-trust, a trust of yourself. And self-trust is the foundation of every other kind of trust. Too often, people don't fo start with themselves, looking in the mirror. Right. And I'll tell you what, and then they go out in the, mar in, in the workplace mm -hmm. and they look around and, and oftentimes people don't trust others because they don't trust themselves. And they project that distrust out into the other relationships and on teams. I've seen it happen all the time. So you start with self-trust and that's, that comes from your alignment of living you know, your values, of being clear on what you stand for and then living true to that. That's integrity. Right. That's clarity. Okay. That's power. There's an yeah. energy that yeah. comes from that. So you've aptly named it leadership energy. And, and uh, because okay. energy comes from it, trust comes from it, self-trust right. right. comes from it, which precedes relationship trust, team trust, organizational trust, market trust, inside out. And so the alignment is that your starting point is that we look in the mirror, you know, do I trust myself? So. Do I give to my team a leader who they can trust? Is it right. smart to trust me? Right. Because okay. I am who I say I am. Yes. Okay. So let me, let me build on that because you mentioned the word energy. Uh, the whole theme of this conference is leadership energy. And at Ecliff, we say that leadership energy results when somebody has a clear set of values, core values, that guide and inform them with a sense of purpose. In fact, we go one step further and we say, people that are really focused on their values develop fearless purpose. Mm. Right? So how does the idea of leadership energy align with trust? You were yeah. just talking about it, but can you go a little bit deeper yeah. about trust and leadership energy yeah. going together? Absolutely. I think one of the great fruits of trust is energy because and that's both self-trust, but also relationship trust and team trust. Because okay. when there's trust, people are energized by it. it it's exciting to them. Mm -hmm. It actually brings physical energy. So yeah. I'm going to distinguish yeah. a little bit of different type of energy. Physical energy flows from high trust, whereas low trust is exhausting. Okay. Yes. It yeah. exhausts people, relationships, sure. cultures. High trust is energizing physically, but also emotional energy. That would be passion. Mm -hmm. People feel passionate and trust creates that kind of passion. Creative energy, that would be innovation. innovation. That flows sure. from high trust as well. Okay. Organizational energy would be engagement. And I'll go further, inspiration. Yeah. I'm inspired by the energy, by the, by the trust that's given to me. To be trusted is the most inspiring form of human motivation. It is extraordinarily energizing. Yes. And so the energy does come from the self-trust, which would be my yes. version of leadership Some energy. energy. Mm -hmm. The self-trust, which is you know having a clear purpose, being true to that purpose, being compassionate, how you define it, and you know giving you the fearless, what do you call fearless it? purpose. Fearless purpose, I love that. And, and uh, so that's my self-trust, but I'm gonna then add one more dimension to okay. the energy, yep. and that is when you also have relationship and team trust, in other words, there's trust between people, Sure. that is extraordinarily energizing in all those dimensions. Physical energy, emotional energy, creative energy, um, uh, you know, passionate energy, yes. everything else, uh, organizational energy, they'll all go up when the okay. trust goes up. Okay, all right, final question. There's a lot said in the business literature today about we're in the midst of the digital revolution. You know, we're on 24-7, yeah. we carry devices. Do you carry a device? Absolutely. You carry a device, I carry a device. We're connected no matter where we go. And there are some people that are saying in a 
you know, an environment where everything is out there, it's really hard to be trusting. Do you think the digital revolution is forcing individuals who want to be leaders to behave differently? Absolutely, because like Rajiv talks about, we're yep. naked, we're, 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 it's open, <laughs> we're everyone sees it, we're exposed. Sure. And so um, behavior is seen and is manifest. And just like you can behave your way into trust, you can also behave your way out of trust. And that can happen much faster, right? right. You can lose trust instantaneously by your behavior. Yes. And, and suddenly people become more aware of this. They're more mindful of it. That's a, that's a, that's a good thing. It's also a little frightening. Yes. But, but it gets us focused on who we are and how we behave, our credibility and our behavior. Yes. And that's a good thing. And I like to put it this way. You know, in the age of disruption, trust is the new currency. In the age of digitization, trust is the new currency. In the age of the sharing economy, trust is the new currency. In the age of collaboration, trust is the new currency. We still have to do other things, but the foundational underpinning is trust at every level, starting with ourselves. And, and so, yes, it, it, I think that what's happening today in our world with the, all the, the pace of change, the amount of change, the type of change, the disruption, the digitization, yep. it's actually putting a greater premium on trust than ever before. Trust has always mattered, but even more so in a disruptive digit, digitized world. Okay, Stephen M. R. Covey, I'd like to thank you for joining us today in the Leaders Room, brought to us by the Eclif Leadership and Governance Center. Thanks for being a speaker at our Leadership Energy Summit. Thank you so much, Michael. And let me say this, I really admire Ecliff, your Leadership and Governance Center, what you're doing and the difference you're making in the world. You're modeling the leadership energy that you're talking about to your clients. Thank you, sir.